Hello, welcome to another third person shooter tutorial. So in the previous video, I have shown how to replace the character and also how to create the animation blueprints. So as you can see in this video, I'm going to show how to uh, create the sprint action input. So now you can see if you press play and now if you run, like if you move, so defaultly we are getting this running animation like jog animations. What we want is uh, default, we want the walk animations and whenever we press shift, then only it has to create the jog animations. So we will create an action input for this thing. So in order to do that, uh, what we have to do is first we need to go to this third person uh, shooter blueprint. So as we have created in the previous video, so double click. So here uh, you can see defaultly we have this action input. So if you go to this third person and if you see here we have this inputs. So these are the default inputs which we uh, get from the template. Uh, jump uh, look around and move so what we will do is we will create a, another input uh, for the sprint so what we have to do is we have to right click go to input and there is an option like input action so i will create an input action ia underscore sprint and if you double click uh, there is nothing to do in this uh, action input so just we can close it and what we have to do is we have to come to this imc default uh, input as you can see, if you go to this uh, blueprint here, so it is using the default uh, input uh, from the template. So we need to assign all the action input in this uh, default IMC here. So what we have to do is just go to this input and double click on this. So if you go to into the, uh, if you go into this mappings, uh, you can see there are default uh, like three jump move and uh, look action inputs. So we need to click on this add and search for ia underscore uh, sprint so which we have created recently and now here we have to assign the key for the whatever the key you want to use so here in this cases i'm going to use the left shift so click on this and click on the key which you want to assign so in this case i'm going to use the left shift so what we have to do is we need to call this action input in the third person character so like if you go to this third person survival and now in this third person blueprint we need to create the input action for this print so what we need to do is we need to press tab and call ia underscore sprint and make sure you have to select this and answer the action input which we have created recently so this is the action input which we have created so we are going to call this thing so now what we have to do is we need to get the character movement speed so here you can see there is a component called character movement in this you can find the maximum walk speed like max walk speed this is a max walk speed so that's why uh, we are getting the jog animations when we use this wast so as uh, we need to decrease uh, like it to like uh, 250 so first of all i will make it as 250 now you can see if you press play now you got this jog animation see because uh, if you go into the blend space which we have created so suppose if i go to another tab and if you go to like this thing animation and this is a blend space as you can see uh, this is a 250 so the maximum walk speed is 500 so now uh, 250 is nothing but the walk speed here so uh, in this uh, third person character character movement speed if i set it to uh, 250 as a default then whenever we use this it will make an walk animations so what we want is whenever we press shift then only it has to um, create the jog animations here so what we have to do is if you go to this third person and now we need to drag this component and here just call set max walk speed sorry so set max walk speed so here uh, in this we need to drag it from the trigger trigger is nothing but the holding the button here so just we need to click on this trigger and here the set max walk speed will be 500 so whenever we hold this button so the max walk, max walk speed will be set it to like 500 and whenever we release release is nothing but the completed so so we can copy paste and just drag the same component the target and it will come from the complete and now here defaultly again we have to set back to 250 so here is a simple logic so whenever we click on this 
shift button the max walk will be set it to like 500 whenever we release it will set back to 250 so now if you alt p now if you hold shift then it is going to run and if you release again it will go to like uh, default uh, walk speed 250 so in this way we can create this print uh, animations here so you can give the comments so c let's say name it as print and if you want to make it and just if you go to this bubble and we can see this uh, comment properly even though if you zoom out so in this way we can assign the sprint animation for the character so in the next video i'm going to show how to attach the weapon to the character so see you in the next video